Let's go. <sighs> so this run I did a while ago, so I feel like I will probably be... I think there's a lot of time to save on this run. As this All Cops run was done quite a while ago. So who's ready to geek out over that fucking that adorable podium animation? Because it's pretty fucking kawaii, you know? As the children say. You know? All things considered. Uh, I'm not sure about that. If recording it via remote play. I, I don't think so. I wouldn't know, though. In terms of, like, recording the game, I don't know, actually. In terms of playing it, obviously, no. That's definitely not viable at all. Like, for your own sake, because fucking, there's no way that, you know, it doesn't look, like, it doesn't play well. There's enough of a lag where it's, like, you know, just not fun. Oh, what the fuck? What happened there? Alright. That was not bad. Oh, so doing, like, remote play in OBS? I don't know. I don't know, actually, if that'd be possible. I think remote play has an overlay on it. Like, the window has an overlay that would obscure the game. And for the load remover to work, you can't obscure the load screen at all. It has to be totally visible. So this one, hopefully I do well on this. We're, we're gonna see. We're gonna see how I do on this. If I fuck this up, I might just reset the run, because this is bad enough that I think there's a lot of time to save here. Anyway, let's see. Alright, here it is. And here it is, the moment of truth. The tube. Let's do it. Right, come on. Ooh, look at that! That was nice. Okay. Because I practiced this track a bunch, so I'm glad to see it's paid off a little bit. Lap 2. This one is very hard to do. Let's see. Especially avoiding all the stupid items and shit they put down. Okay, let's see. Oh my god, that was nice. Get fucked, AI racers. See you later. Goddamn. Alright. Let's see it. Let's do it. Let's go. Alright, here it is. Let's see. Oh my god, that was fucking amazing! Get the fuck out of here. Did you fucking see that? Jesus Christ. That was really good by my standards. Holy shit. Jesus. Yeah, GG. That was fucking good. That's very good for this track. 
Immaculate. That was fucking immaculate. Yeah. Yeah, it was. That was fucking tight. By my standards, that is really fucking good. So, yeah. Anyway, let's see if I can do this track now, too. That was fucking nice. Okay. I've been practicing that track a bunch, so I'm glad to see it paid off. The method I use on deep sea driving is not the most optimal at all, but it is definitely, I think it's the most consistent. That's just staying in the center of the tube and just making little adjustments by holding down and then braking and jumping at the same time. It sounds complicated, but when you practice it, it's really not. It's pretty simple. All right, let's see. Oh shit, this is gonna run out. Oh, whatever. Whatever. That's fucking lame. That was really boring. That was stupid. Lame, 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 lame. Alright, here it is. There's one. Nope. Okay. Okay. All right. That was pretty good. Uh, even though I fucked up lap two, that was pretty good. Yeah, see, look at that. Bang. That goes to show you how shitty I did, like, in my fucking personal best. That was a 20-second save. Anyway, Electron Avenue. This stage is really good. Her trick jump animation is pretty cute, not gonna lie. Sorry, I'm not talking much. I'm just trying to focus on this. Oh, I don't want that shit to happen. Oh, fuck. Okay. Okay, whatever. That's annoying. That was a pain. Not a terrible time loss, though. I made that up pretty quickly, you know? It's like, compared to the other shit I do, where I 
you know, slam into walls and fall off ledges and shit. You know, that's not that bad at all. Because I got it back pretty quickly. That's something nice about this, is that even though there's blue fire, like, almost every single pad gives it to you, so... You know, it, it's pretty fun. This feels like when you fuck it up, it's not the most punishing shit in the world, with one exception. One very unfortunate exception, come to think of it. I just passed Komodo Mo also, I just realized. Jeffrey Epstein looking ass. God damn. Alright. Yeah, even despite that fuck up, that was still good, so. Yeah. Sorry, I'm not talking much. That was probably. Oh, by the way, chat, please acknowledge. Please acknowledge the best girl. Here she is. Here's Queen, lol. They say, um, Slay Queen. <laughs> Here she is. Look at this. Look at this Queen. Look at her. Look, look at this. It's actually just hot. She's giving you those bedroom eyes, too. Wish I could look at it longer, but... Oh, well. All right, menu, menu, menu tricks time. Time for epic menu, epic button presses. There we go. How you doing, Plange? Where is Plange? Plan does not acknowledge the sovereignty of Amy. This is disappointing. Disgusting. Disgusting. I want to suffocate around Amy's arms? Oh, yeah. I know what you mean. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah, bruh. Fuck yeah, boy. Yeah, I feel like her tits are, like, really fucking big with this off. It's, it's strange. You know? Like, they're bigger, almost. scared me. See, this track is so much better just because of that. The fact that that is not the most obnoxious thing in the world. You know what I mean? Fucking the train and that whole section. Like, because in the in on PS2, you fucking drive in there and you just fucking ride up the wall, it's impossible to actually just drive in a straight line. You can, but if you fucking power slide, you just go whoop, you just slide right up the wall, it's the most annoying thing. So this is one of those tracks that just benefits from just not being in Nitro Kart. Because that game was kind of doo-doo. Whoa, 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 whoa. Scaring me right now. There we go.
Oh shit, I don't think this will, will this come up? Okay, there we go. It did, but it slowed me down. Fuck. Okay. There we go. Penguin Yay 1. Does Liz or Amy have bigger tits? I believe Liz has the biggest tits, but I'm gonna be honest, like, when I look at that fucking alt, those tits are pretty big. Like, those are some nice tits, I'm just gonna say it, you know? And they've done weird shit, you know, like... Apparently fucking, you know, they, they lowered fucking Polar's lip, according to that one guy. Maybe not, though. Good night, Plangin. Happy birthday. Thank you for fucking everything you've done for the world. For all your services that you've provided. Yeah, Liz has the biggest tits. But, like, they've done weird shit when it comes to, like, fucking with, like, characters' proportions and shit. Maybe they just made her tits bigger on this skin for some reason. Like, they realized they gave her this ponytail and had her do this little dance, and they're like, oh shit, this is way too cute. We need to get everything that we can out of this. You know? Like, we need to savor this moment. Tiny Temple Time, children. It's Tiny Temple Time, children! Alright, ah, uh, there we go. Hopefully I'm not gonna regret putting that TNT there. I feel like I might. Uh oh. Okay. Ooh, that was close. I almost slid into that wall. Oh, fuck off. I can't believe I just ran right into that one. It's fucking obnoxious. That's fucking annoying. So that is major mistake number one. Really, is just losing blue fire on lap three. That is fucking annoying. Because losing blue fire is pretty fucking devastating. See? Look at that. Oh yeah, they did! Yeah, they, they trimmed Ninja Penta's eyebrows for some reason. That is so weird. That's just like one of those things I didn't know that they were doing. You want Amy to suffocate you with her thighs? Yeah, same here, Drew. You know, just for a few laughs, haha. -ha. Just for a few laughs. It would be a very funny moment, tee -hee, you know? I'd like to engage in sexual intercourse with her, and when I ejaculate, she goes, This is rape! I mean, this is great! You know, she does that. That would be cute. Just for a few laughs, aha. Yeah, I think I might be lightheaded just for a few laughs, haha. Oh, I'm lightheaded! Oh. Yeah. Like, dude, I like this too, but please. That one guy, y'all know who I'm talking about. Not not about to name names, but you know who. That dude on Twitter. He fucking loves Amy. Oh, faggot. God damn it. That's annoying. Shit, that's a, gonna be pretty bad. Damn it.
Oh, what the fuck? Again, this shit happened. Why? Why? That's really fucking annoying. Why is that happening? I don't know what's happening to me. Why is this happening? Can I at least keep it for this long? Jeez, fuck. Yeah, that's still a best, because I played... I really have not run this category in a fucking while, come to think of it. Because, like, a lot of these are really shit. A lot of these splits are not good. So, right there, even though I got a best, there's a big time... You know, there's, there's a huge improvement right there on Thunderstruck. We're dead in... Baron. We have to do Baron now. Baron ruins. <sighs> Epic chair creaking noises. Yeah. I want Amy to uh, suffocate me with her thighs just for a few laughs, aha. Just for a few laughs, aha. Tee. go. Okay. Something I want to do is try and, like, get rid of items more, like, on the third lap, because I don't really need them. Because, you know, I could luck out and get some good items and shit, you know? You never know. Won't know if I won't try. If I don't try. best. See, this is what I'm talking about. I hope they make Yaya -ya Panda thick. Yeah, they better make it thick. She's a big fat ass. How you doing? Hey, how you doing? Yeah, what's going on, Toe98? Such a weird item. They should add the option to remove items. They really fucking should. Like, from just... If I'm just playing private match, you know, like, private lobby or fucking... Look at this. Look at this. Look at this shit. Look at that. Look at those legs. Look at this shit. That's cute as fuck. That little strut? Like, that's actually just cute as fuck. <sighs> Alright. No, yeah, I would like to see Rillaroo, though. I think that's gonna be pretty cool. It's a little slow menu, but whatever. I wasn't really paying attention. Watching my sister play Ape Escape 2. Is that the sequel to game... To Is that the sequel to watching my sister play Ape Escape? Watching my sister play Ape Escape 2? You know? Sounds like a good song title, you know? Like The Stallion Part 3? Watching my sister play Ape Escape Part 2. No, yeah, I'd, I'd like to see Rillaroo. I feel like that would be just, just be interesting to see that character again. And yeah, um... Yaya Panda, I can't imagine giving a shit. That's just like... 
That's just such a weird character to pull out. Like, it's cool that the, like, because I've heard people talk about that. And, like, my, my buddy Paul was saying, he's like, oh, I'd like to see that character again, you know, just because it would be fucking weird. Be like, hey, look at this. This character was in an iPhone game, you know? Oh, God, Polar Pass, I just realized, okay, this is going to be fucking rough. Let's see. There we go. I should have saved that boost, just in case, but I didn't. Whoops. Hey, don't mind if I do, I will take that happily. Alright, and here we go. There we go, see? Look at that. That was good. Whoa! That fucking potion got uh, way too close. That was not good. That potion was fucking close. I have to keep in mind that that's there on lap 3. Very precocious position for that fucking potion to be in. Oh, I... I just dropped a potion. Fuck. I really... Okay, I have to be careful I don't hit that either. Shit. Lots of things to keep track of. Okay, let's see. Alright. Oh, fuck yes! This game is being really nice to me right now. Oh, my god! This game is being too kind. pretty fucking nice. Wow, that is a fucking best segment and a half. Look at that. Goddamn. Wow, that was also fucking immaculate. Look at that. <laughs> well, look at that, mister. Time for Engine Labs. Engin Labs. Yeah, he won't. Don't worry. What I really wanted to hear, what I would love to hear, like, Rillaru, like, his victory animation, is he just, like, you know, fucking apes out, like, oh, 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 and then he gets interrupted by, like, this fucking, you know, narrator go, Rillaru wins, and he looks around where he's like, where the fuck did that voice came, like, where'd that noise come from? You know, some shit like that. That would be very XD, personally. I think that would be a very XD moment. You know? Big laugh moment for the crowd right there. But I think it would be funny if he was just reacting to, like, some weird disembodied voice, you know? Rillaru wins. Sorry, I'm not talking much. I just, I actually just want to focus and just get a good time. Real all rule wins. It will be cool to see him again. I don't know, he's one of the characters I wasn't, like, crazy holding out for. But at the same time, it is cool. Because he was, like, of all the weird post-Naughty Dog characters, like, all the weird shit that the series has gotten, he was the first one, really. You know? He's just fucking, he's random-ass monkey that didn't exist before this game. You know? So, that'll be cool to see him. Because I don't think anybody said, like, hey, did you know that Rillaru is coming back? You know, if you told them that five years ago, they'd say, shut the fuck up. You know, they'd say, like, quit fucking with me. But, uh, no. As it turns out, it's legit. He's the real thing. That's a good item to have.
All right. That was pretty good. Penguin Yay won. When the teacher takes her shoes off in, in class and your penis activated the big head mode cheat. Interesting. Very relatable. Very relatable moment right there. Yeah. Make him say it in like gorilla speak. Yeah, probably. That's probably what they'll do. Because I do like the way they incorporated Penguin Ye One, like having him say it in like this weird babbly voice, you know? Part of me does kind of wish it sounded just really shitty like Penguin Ye One, but at the same time, it's like that would just kind of be really like alarming to anyone that, you know, wasn't familiar with this game. People would just hear Penguin Ye One and it would scare the shit out of all the children, you know? That would kill the children. I have murdered many children, lol. Alright, there we go. Whoa, whoa, that was, that was close. Jeez. Getting a little close to the fucking edge right there. Oh, shit! Okay, whatever. It puts me before the one, so that's good. Oh, fuck. Yep, there goes my blue fire. Shit. That's fucking annoying. What the... Why? Why? That was rude. You see what the game just did to me right there? Fucking that little potion? Fucking threw it and it had to land somewhere. Like, it couldn't just go off the fucking stage. Oh. That does not work. You, gotta, you, you can't do it like that if you don't have blue fire. Fuck. Yeah, so this is this this one sucks. This segment has to be improved a lot. That's okay. So this is major time loss number two. I don't even remember what the first one was. Oh yeah, Tiny Temple. And Thunderstruck, I guess, but at the same time. You know, that was like a best Thunderstruck for some reason. Okay, there we go. Yeah, see, look, that's a pretty bad time loss, but oh well. I think I like it better with when the teacher teacher takes her shoes of. And your penis activated the big head mode cheat. Yeah, so it activates. That's weird. Dum dum. Rillaroo wins. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing him again, though. But if, you know, again, if I never see Rillaroo again, I'll, I'll live. Like, I'll totally live without seeing him. But Big Velo, I'm really holding out for him. I want to see him. I want my boy. Doesn't feel right without him. Epic fridge noises. My fridge just went boom.
Why does why items leave me alone? Like stop stop going in places where I don't want you to go. That was close. Those potions. Precocious potions. pretty good. Nice. Penguin Ye, one voice actor arrested for mass child murder. Activision paying huge fees for the morning parents. Yeah. See, I think that would just be a totally wacky, zany, viral marketing move, you know, if they did that. Very epic and cool. That's what it would be. But of course, Activision couldn't satisfy that. Very unfortunate. Look at this! This is so cute! I love this so much. Look at this. The little strut she does, it's cute as fuck. She gives you those fucking bedroom eyes, too. It's just like, goddamn boy. Okay, now I have to focus for this. Epic button pressing time! I'm pressing buttons! Nope. That was annoying. Well. I guess it's time we be putting his chocolate memory to rest. Liam, when I'm done with this, I figure after this run... How do I play this all day without my hands cramping up? Uh... I guess I'm just used to it. The PS4 controller is also pretty comfortable. Uh, I guess I'm just used to it. Like, I just play a lot of games and shit, so my hands don't tend to cramp up that much. Like, I'm always using my hands, you know? Jerking off plenty, lol. You know? But, uh, fucking... Liam, we, after this, I'm probably gonna do... What I'm probably gonna do after this run is I'm gonna do some ring rally. Just show off that new mode, just have some fun with that. And then... Afterwards, though, we should watch some Xavier. My buddy Liam has uh, finally introduced me to Xavier Renegade Angel, a show from Adult Swim, which is fucking weird, and I don't really... I'm not even going to bother attempt... I'm not going to attempt to describe it. Just look it up yourself and have fun. That's all I'm going to say. But, uh, yeah, fucking... I think... I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying it so far. It's really fucking weird. Got a lot of good quotes from that show, too. And if you're around, Liam, we will definitely watch an episode after this. Because it, I did finish pirating it. Because I pirated it, folks, okay? Excuse me. Fucking. I'm a terrible person, I know. That was annoying. Lost the fire for some reason. So there's, there's time loss number three. Losing the fire on Roost Tubes for some reason. By the time I'm done, it'll be pretty late for America Neighbors. No, it won't be that late. This isn't going to be much longer. Like, I'm halfway done with the run already. Well, actually, no, I'm not. Actually, I have a little bit more to go. Although, I get all the long tracks out of the way, generally. So, I'd say probably I'm about halfway, actually. I'm not sure. Still, it won't be that late. Alright, let's see if I can do this. 
we go. And watch out here. Shit, that's annoying. Fuck. Cause now I just have to do this the long way around. I'm not even gonna attempt to go on there. That's fucking annoying. Okay, fine. It put me past the... You see that? What the fuck was that? Fucking fired a missile and it like fucking... <laughs> what the But instead of eating tacos, we should just talk. Oh. Yeah. Yes, precisely. No, so Toe, you like that show. That's good. Toe, why are you named Toe98? That's a weird name. I feel like I've asked this question, but I don't remember the answer. Are you named after the epic gamer girl Toes? Is that, is that what you're named for? Or is it something lame? Is it like, oh no, it's my initials. <laughs> you know, it's like, shut the fuck up. That, that would be dumb. If that was the case, I'd be very disappointed. They just so annoying. I have no idea how to avoid that fucking minecart. There are times where it's just in a position where I feel like that shit is just impossible to avoid. His initials are toes, OMG, eat them. Yes, delicious. That's what it stands for. And do that 98 times? Is that what the 98 stands for? 98 iterations of toe eating. I adopted an insult and made it a cooler name. My bro and sis would call me Toe Jam or Toe Hair. The fuck is that? Toe Jam, Toe Hair. What the hell is that? It's the weirdest thing I've ever heard. What the hell's- what, what fucking cartoon are you living in? Jesus. Dum dum? Stupid? What's that? That was weird. That's like the weirdest story I've probably heard today. Okay, well, you know, good on ya, I guess. That's just strange. See, that was gross, though. Toe hair and toe- like, those are two things that I don't like about toes. Both of those things are big no thanks. Don't want anything to do with it. Alright, this is good, the fact that I have a shield, so I'm just gonna use this to avoid the fucking barrel because I cannot do it to save my life for some reason. There we go.
Whoa. You hear that shit? What the hell is that? It's like wacky car noises or something? What the fuck is that? You hear that? That was some, like, fucking reeing outside. I don't know what that was. That was weird. Oh! Oh shit. Okay, that was like, what was that? What was going on there? That was weird. Oh fuck. Okay, come on, game. Mask? Yes? Oh, okay, fine. Whatever. At least I can avoid it. Ninety-eight was the year you were born. Same year as my sister. Oh well, actually not true. <sighs> I lied. That was an epic lie. You got epically trolled. Now Liam was born in ninety-eight, I think. So there you go. Congratulations. I was born in 97. Dude, look at this. This is so cute. I love this animation so much. I wish you didn't have to just skip it immediately. Maybe Toe Jam is referring to the game Toe Jam and Earl. Maybe. I farted. There you go. It's a fart to kick off this epic stream. I kind of wasn't paying attention, so that was a fast menu still, you know? Epic menu pressing? Epic menu? Epic menu? Epic menu? I was going to add more to that, but I don't know what, so there you go. I said epic menu five times in a row. Enjoy it. So after this, I'm probably going to do a few ring rallies, and then we're going to wrap up the stream. That's what we're going to do. <sighs> oh, what the hell? How did I lose the reserves? Did I bump a wall or something? I didn't even see it. go yeah look at this like every single segment is the best right now this is going pretty well oh geez there's a huge time savior okay look at that poo poo's pyramid
Michael, how would you react if one day you woke up and Gene and Dean Ween were at the foot of your bed and asked you to help them write an album inspired by Crash Insanity's soundtrack? If they woke up at the foot of my bed, that would be, you know, like, beneath my fucking... They'd be looking at my feet. I would just fucking kick aggressively, like, you know, just down. Like, get them away from me. That's what I do, you know? Like, reel back in my bed and just, you know, kick my foot forward and just be like, get away from me, get away. And then they'd probably grab my foot and start licking it. You know, they do something like that. Then I'd really be screwed. So I don't know. I'd be upset. Starters, you know. Because one, I think they're... as I love their fucking music, but I think they're kind of shitty people. And also two... You know, Crash and Sandy's music is fucking not good. At all. And I'm just gonna say it right now, everyone that likes that game's music, I hate to say it, but a lot of them have very smooth brains, and they eat pencils. Right? They're stupid. Just like, I just feel like, oh, fucking fuck. Faggot. That's fucking annoying. I feel like people that listen to Twin Sanity's music, like, they they haven't listened to, like, actual music. You know what I mean? Like, they just listen to music of or relating to games, and that's it. Music from games and about games. That's all they listen to. It's like if they listen to actual music, they knew what good and bad production sounded like. They'd be like, oh, okay, interesting. This is not good. Because, like, everybody that's heard fucking the Spiral Mouth album, you know, like, the cover album, agrees that that thing is a fucking pile of shit. You know? And it's not much better than the fucking shitty, you know, that god-awful fucking soundtrack. It's insanity. <sighs> Cortez Castle? Cortez Castle? Cortez Cast System? Alright, let's see. This stage, this is going to be interesting. Because I... From what I know, I was not very good at this stage. At all. I've gotten a bit better at maintaining the fire on it. Definitely better than I used to be, but... I still do struggle with it a bit, so we'll find out. There we go. Okay. That is the hard part. The second part out here is a little bit easier. Although it's really short too, so... Oh shit! See, that's what I'm talking about, where I just lose it. It's a fucking pain. And look, that's still the best. Jeez. I'm gonna have to that fuck up.
I just hate the Twin Sanity soundtrack just because it it's like ever literally all the compositions would just lend themselves better to having actual like instruments behind them. Because the whole gimmick is that it's fucking it the the music is voices except the fucking effects on their voice are like so god they those voices are so heavily processed that they don't even sound like voices, all right. And I'm just fucking sick of, like, talking to people that get, like, all fucking high and mighty and they fucking talk down to me like, I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. When the fucking soundtrack that they defend is literally the most, like, autistic thing in the universe. I'm just gonna say it, okay? I'm sorry. If you like the music, that's fine. But don't fucking be shitting on me because I hate it, okay? Because fucking, like, listen to the music that plays, listen to what plays during the Brio boss fight and tell me that that's fucking music. They literally are making fucking, like, slurping sounds and shit. They're like... <laughs> This fucking started coughing. That was gross. Oh, oh, Jesus. Okay. I'm dying over here. Fuck, and I'm, it made me lose my reserves. Well, that was pretty funny. That's that, that's a cute little highlight. <clears throat> but um, anyway, no, yeah. They're making slurping noises. Fucking going like... <laughs> there. There's like a little less enthused version, you know? So it doesn't make me die. But yeah, it's fucking gross. Just like me dying right now. That it's fucking nasty. And it sounds like shit. And every single song has some gay shit like that. Like, what I've realized with that game's music is there's absolutely no chill to it at all. Like, every single song has to have a thousand things going on. And, like, the original games were not like that. Like, especially Crash 1. If you listen to the music in that game, it's pretty chill. You know? Like, there's not a, there's not a ton going on. It's like, I just don't agree that this game is, like, the love letter to Crash that people say it is. It's fucking stupid. It's fucking retarded. I'm just gonna say it, okay? For lack of a better term, it is fucking retarded. LOL. You look at that chat. I care about you so deeply. I stick around and I fucking make sure. I make sure that I'm fucking here. You know, I'm dying over. Oh, what the fuck? Why do you just lose the reserves for no reason? So fucking annoying. Whatever. I'm far from the worst place to lose them, but shit. I just wish I didn't. Hey. Nice item to have. Another nice item to have. Okay. Nice. Shit. That's some very good luck right there. I don't think the cut planned content of Twin Sandy is any good either. People are praising said concept so much just because they're cut and nothing else. I couldn't agree more with that. Like, I really don't think that this game was the fucking masterpiece that people make it out to be. I think the worst thing that could come of a Twin Sanity remake isn't... The worst thing that, that could come, you know, and this is for the people that like Twin Sanity. The worst thing that could come from a Twin Sanity remake is for a lot of people to realize, wow, this game really is not, is not that good, you know? God, these silhouettes on the fucking podium look fucking terrible like can i please turn them off Beanox? please they look fucking garbage like why did they think that was good enough to put in the game why why though why though i want to know why No, I don't know, it's just like, I get the, because a lot of people are like, oh, you know, the team was rushed. And the team was rushed, don't get me wrong. 
But I feel like a big problem with Twin Sanity is that the developers were really fucking ambitious. Like, way too ambitious for their first time making a game. Because that was... That was the first and only game developed by Traveler's Tales Oxford. The game was so shit that it basically just destroyed the entire studio that worked on it. You know? But people fucking love it anyway. They ride that game's dick. It's really dumb. I don't understand. You know? Like, I've had people explain to me, like, why they think the game is good, and, like, going into the character motivations, and it's always the most autistic thing in the world, because what it always comes down to is they're talking about a game that doesn't exist. You know? Oh, fuck. What the fuck? But what, what, what the fuck is going on? What the fuck was that? I fucking hold back, and just that starts happening. The hell was that? God damn it, that's fucking annoying. Oh no, it always turns into the most autistic thing in the world, though. Because, like, they're always talking about a game that doesn't fucking exist, you know? Like, look, it's cool, all the shit you're talking about, but none of that shit is in the game. And it's not even, like, it's anywhere near there in the final game. Like the twin, like the cutscenes in Twin Sanity, for example. The FMVs are actually, like, okay. But the fucking, like, in-game cutscenes in that game are the fucking worst thing I've ever seen. Like, they're so bad. Because most of them don't have sound effects. You know? And they're just, like, badly voice acted. It, it's not good. The game is bad. That's all you need to know. There's not much else to say, really. Yeah, but that was obnoxious. I don't know what the fuck just happened right there, where I just, like, my game just shat on me. Oh, that Spiral Mouth album? Yeah, that Spiral Mouth album, it's fucking... Yeah, it's really bad. Like, their cover of Closer. They also ruined Come Together. They also ruined Spoon Man. You know? Uh, I think it said Zera Otherworlds? Also, hello. Uh, I, I don't know what that is. So, that answer, hopefully that answers your question. Probably not the answer you wanted, but there you go. I haven't played it. I have no idea what it is. Sorry, but I am not good at reading and playing at the same time, so I will look at whatever else you said in response. I'll look at that after this race. I feel like that might have actually just been slower what I did, but whatever. Looked cool. Isn't that what matters? Isn't that the moral of the story? Oh, fuck yes! Give it to me! Give it to me right now! Yes, please! I will take that happily! Fuck yeah! God damn, okay! Fuck yes! <laughs> that was fucking great! <laughs> God damn! Fucking getting really good luck right now. That was fucking nice. Fucking see that? Yeah, so that is just a fucking unbeatable segment. Goddamn. It's gonna be this Spyro inspired game. Not sure what releases it's getting yet. Yeah, I haven't heard of it. Zera Otherworlds. How do you mean Spyro inspired? Like, is it like a collectathon? What's it like? Explain it to me. I don't know anything. And yeah, it's when Sandy 100% is boring.
You know what's something else that's great about Twin Sanity? Sarcasm? The fact that fucking Aku masks just don't work the way they're supposed to. And that's because, you know, it's 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 to serve those stupid ass physics puzzles. You know? Because they have to just put fucking stupid nitros everywhere. You know? But Aku masks just don't work the way they're supposed to, and it's shit. It's it's in service of those shitty ass physics puzzles. You know, which are all entirely optional anyway. Because every single physics puzzle... It's funny because I... Everyone else, including me, shits on Wrath of Cortex for its overabundance of nitros, but Twinsanity does that shit too. It might be worse in some areas, in all honesty. In fact, that's usually where the challenge is. It's like you get these big, empty fucking levels where there's nothing to do in them, and there's just a bunch of stupid physics puzzles with nitros. And it's shit. And the masks just don't work correctly. Because the whole thing is like, oh, you know, they don't want you using masks to just break nitros because you could use that to just fucking bypass puzzles. But the thing is, you can just bypass most of the puzzles anyway because the game is so fucking glitchy, you know? Like, I remember the Twin Sanity Island level, I think it is. That was really good. Twin Sanity Island, fucking... I, like, cheesed every single... I cheesed, like, every single gem in that area, you know? Because you could just fucking do that. You don't- you barely have to get any of them legit. Crow, Circus Amy is the best skin. No cap? What does cap mean? Also, yes, hello. What's going on? How you doing? I'm doing good. Yeah, Circus Amy is fucking great. This skin is fucking adorable. I'm really happy with how they did this one. They did a good job with that. Because I was looking forward to seeing, like, you know, what are the circus trophy girls going to look like? And they all look like shit. But Amy looks cute as fuck! So there's that, you know. Well you're, well, you're tuning in near the end of this this run. Uh, this run is going really well because I have not run this category in a while, and I've gotten quite a bit better since I last ran it, so... Yeah. Because something I've realized that is very important to prioritize is racing lines. Don't underestimate racing lines, bruh. Okay. There we go. Penguin Yay won. It just means that Circus Amy is the best skin. Yeah, it because it is. It's fucking great. Well, Circus Amy is definitely Amy's best alt. I would still say that Coco is the best girl, you know? Because here's the thing. Coco's been around. She's been a loyal, wholesome girl since the beginning of the game, you know? To quote, uh, you know, truly a philosopher of our time, you know, Pink Guy, Filthy Frank, George Miller, Joji, you know? To quote him, he said, uh, I treat her badly, but she comes back every time. It goes to show that none of these hoes is worth a dime. You know, that, and th those words resonate with my feelings towards Coco. You know, and it, and it applies very well because these hoes are literally not worth a dime. You know, like, because you have to pay currency to access these hoes. And they're cute hoes, but Coco... Coco, she's there. She's there from the very beginning. She's always got your back. She's in the base game. You don't have to unlock her. You know? She loves you and respects you. But yeah, anyway, now when we're done with this, I'm going to do some ring rallies.
My bling bling boy. Bling bling boy, bling bling boy, bling bling boy, bling bling boy. It's Infernal Island time, bruh. These are some dopey looking racing lines. Not playing super well right now. But to be honest, I'm just kind of fucking tired. When are we getting a tank cart body? I know Engine, like one of his cars, right, from Tag Team Racing was like a tank. Wasn't it? Or am I wrong? I feel like it was. This track is really good. Can I just say that? Even though they fucked up the collision on that little ramp, which is gay, otherwise it's really good. Because it looks fucking great, and it plays pretty well too. Oh wait, there is some dumb shit that can happen. Fuck, you know what? There are dumb things on this map. God damn it. I wish there weren't though, because otherwise it would be pretty fucking great. That, that's like one of the things I'm interested in seeing is like more card bodies. What I really want is I want the goddamn champion bike, you know, which I assume we're probably going to get with Velo. And then I also would like to see a... Here, here's something. I would like to see retro Nitro Kart, like, you know, cars. I don't, you know, just... Because I like the, like the blocky, weird-looking old PS2 models, you know, with the fucking sound effects. I think if they did that, that would be pretty good, you know? Like the Team Trans car where it goes, Beep! It just sounds like a fucking... Sounds fucking like a little... I don't even know what the fuck to call it. You know, it sounds fucking weird. Whee! It's like really high-pitched. Sounds cool, though. 
Yeah, the retro carts, but for the nitro cart carts. You know, like retro team Bandicoot, retro team Cortex, shit like that. Or maybe just anti-gravity versions of the nitro cart cars, like like how they did the Probulot, you know? How the Probulot looks like that, with its sort of quote-unquote wheels, you know? Just the anti-gravity versions of the nitro cart cars. That would be cool. That would be cool as like some part as part of like, you know, if they were to reintroduce the nitro cart story mode, that's shit you can unlock from it, you know, it's just anti-gravity nitro cart cars. That would be cool. With the really weird sound effects they made, you know? And the fucking like scratchy ass sound whenever you power slide. That game had good sound effects. And voice acting. It's pretty good. Unlike this one. Voice acting, anyway. The fucking... The game is actual shit, and this game is actually pretty decent, but, you know. For whatever reason, this game... The voices are bad. I don't know why. That's why they're turned off. Oh, faggots. God damn it. That's annoying. God, could they be more annoying with items and shit? Like, god damn. This is a fucking pain in the ass. Okay. Wow. Interesting. Yeah, anti-gravity shit would be nice. Yeah. More, more polygons, more like less polygons, come to think of it. That makes sense, bruh. Oh boy, hyperspace gay time. The Minecraft from 2? That's funny. That's something that I do a lot. I write Minecraft instead of Minecart. Wait, what do you mean Minecart? I'm trying to think of what you're talking about. What are you talking about? Supreme JP. Unless you mean the one from Wrath of Cortex? Is that what you're talking about? Oh, maybe because you wrote two, you, me you meant to write twak. I'm assuming. I haven't looked at the chat, so... We'll find out in a minute, I guess. Oh, fuck off! This track is fucking gay. Oh my god, that shit is impossible to avoid. No idea how you're supposed to get around that. Oh yeah, but the minecart from Wrath of Cortex, I'm trying to think about it. I don't know how the hell they do that. That would be interesting, but I don't know how they do it. Or if it would even be good. Because the thing is, like... The animations have been, like, fairly limited between the cars, you know, like, it's always got to be two hands on the wheels, you know, and, like, two gas pedals and shit, you know, because that's how just, like, they- oh, whatever! Oh my god. 
Fuck this map. This is really fucking lame. I hate this map. Alright, there we go. Oh, I only lost 8 seconds from that? I feel like it would have been way more. Oh well. Well, there it is. There's the run, folks. Look at that. 58-12. Oh, look at that. I was right. The minecart from Wrath of Cortex. Yeah. I don't know. Probably not. I have no idea. I have no idea what that would be good.